Hello, good evening. It's been about a week now since I did my introductory video about the Solstice 1200 I plan to ride next June. So this week I'm doing two quick videos. This first one is going to be about how I do my final route check. There's a method I use to pick out any slight errors that might cost me dear on the road. The second video I plan to post this week would be about the actual file submission and entering the DIY so I hope both of them are informative so I've got the route roughly how I think it's going to be and I've actually worked out my accommodation so first of all I've gone ahead and booked those so here's a paper copy I've just put both bookings on either side of a sheet of A4 it's probably unnecessary because I've found in the past all you need to do is turn up tell them your name and they just ask you to confirm your address but I've got the details here with the relevant points highlighted it's not really a waste of paper because I can use this paper to do other things and um, jot down anything I mean for example when I get tired I find mental arithmetic hard to do the first night I got for 40 pounds and the second night at the Premier Inn I actually paid 47 so my combination is 87 pounds when you turn up at a travel lodge or a premier inn although you're not really staying there for the full eight or 10 12 hours like most people do when you let yourself in that room after a long day knowing you've got a, a, some long days in front of you that the feeling is just absolutely amazing i can't really put it into words you shut that door and you've got your own little space for six seven hours first thing i do is i, I get all my devices starting to recharge I'll probably eat some food and then I'll have a really hot bath to sort of ease my muscles and then the priority is sleep more about sleep in, in future videos and then I quite often leave and I will always tell them I'm leaving early once um, I didn't manage to see anyone I just left and later in the day I kept getting these texts saying you know were you happy with your visit so you know that's that's good customer service so I think in return it's only polite that, and fair that I actually let them know there's not a problem this is intentional so next up is tweaking the route um, I sort of compare it to doing up a property to be honest with the route so far I've done the first second and third fixes and now I'm going to do some snagging I'm just going to look for any little things like banana skins which might trip me up so in the previous video I showed you how I join the routes up with bike hike. That's probably about the only thing I use bike hike for is, is joining different routes up. So I would never use it on two or three hundred kilometre ride. It's only for the longer distances. And this is another thing I do on the longer rides. I don't always do it on the shorter ones. I actually can do a online online route check, and I'll show you how I do it. Which is why I like ride the GPS so much. If press the peg man you can see what happens the whole screen turns blue and you start getting street views how you go back to the map is go to this box at the bottom press that arrow on the left hand side and it'll go back to the maps so to reduce the amount of blue spaghetti that here see what I mean but you can clearly see the route put the peg man back there quite often it'll go straight back to the map other times it won't so what I'm going to do is over a period of a couple of nights I'm actually going to hover this man over the complete route and the reason being is sometimes Strava has sent you up maybe tracks or across fields I'm sure most cyclists will be familiar with this there's a perfect example there sometimes mountain bikers say might find that rideable it's the last thing you really want on a road bike and see what happened the peg man just turns blue and the box across it says no data available sometimes that's what throws cyclists so i'm going to go over the route and look for anything like that so here we are here's a perfect example and what a place it's literally about two miles or so before my first night's accommodation i can't think of anything more stressful so using the peg man i was a bit suspicious of that and then there you go it's turned blue so i can see an obvious solution but 
just interested to know what the cause is so I'm going to zoom right in and see if I can get a street view to explain it well it's a gravel track of some sort now that might be rideable I know from past experience that could easily look okay on the surface but easily turn into mud and it's the last thing I want to turn up at a travel lodge covered in mud again I could probably check the other end this is just out of my curiosity now so here's the other end does that give a clue there's the track appears again that may well be rideable but that's just not a chance I particularly want to take especially that close to an accommodation I can imagine that being really the last thing I want at that stage of the first day so here's the obvious solution I'm just going to take that stretch out and use some roads down here just check that they're okay first of all yeah they're all okay so as I did in the previous video I'm just going to isolate that stretch so I don't tamper with the whole route by pressing add remove control point so I'll put a control there and a control there and then that isolates the rest of the route so I can just edit this bit there you go and then as before I'm going to remove the, the waypoints I've just put in and then just check that's all okay yeah and then save that so that's clearly added a little bit of distance on that detour but in fact I can probably take that out once, once I've gone over the whole route because there may be another detour at some stage I need to put on but what I did find when I was editing the route I just needed to add a couple of little dog legs on towards the end to just get the route just slightly over 1200 so what I can do is actually remove one of those dog legs so I've got there's a little bit of play in the system and also by going over the route I've just come across one or two small little dog legs as in the first video so again just going to take these out to tidy the the whole route up so again isolate the route between that point and that point there you go I've removed it if you ever do anything if the if the map goes berserk you can always undo your last couple of actions there you go I've just added it back on removed two waypoints so you can rectify any mistakes on this one quite easy to do unlike Strava which is why I always make a copy on Strava so there you go remove that dog leg and remove the waypoints couple more I've spotted on route so I'll just take those out so on ride with GPS the, the file that I'm going to submit to the organizer I've amended and saved that what I obviously need to do now is amend and save it on the route that I'm now going to navigate by so Strava is not quite as easy to do so I'll show you the process I'm going to open up day one's file and the first thing I'm going to do is duplicate it I'm going to make a copy of it there you go I might just put edit on there and then I'll save that so if I go back to my routes now you'll see I've got day one and day one duplicated that one's called edit and the reason I've done that is because I've, I've made a copy in effect and if I mess this up for any reason I've still got the original I can go back to because this one is not quite as easy to isolate that point so I'm going to go into this and try and do the edit here now so I've gone into edit mode on Strava and good thing is there's a waypoint at Thetford and there's a waypoint at Mildenhall 
so this bit should be isolated so all I can do then is drag and drop this out here and it shouldn't it shouldn't change the whole route there you go just zoom in and make sure that has done what I wanted it to do yeah it's gone on that B road there save that okay well that was quite straightforward so it's taking the distance up about another four miles not the end of the wood so after I added in that last section it took my route from 1202 kilometers up to 1207 I've just been around the entire route taking all the silly little dog legs out, out now and amazingly it dropped it back down to 1205.5 kilometers but I'd still like to get it as close to 1200 as possible just it needs to be slightly over so when I originally did the route I was a bit under distance so I just added this little loop on at the end to make the distance up so I'm wondering if now I could take that out so I'm going to have a quick go here and see what happens right. Twelve oh two. I think I've added a dog leg in there. Yeah. Let's just try and get rid of that. Twelve oh two. Exactly. That just couldn't be better. So let's remove these waypoints now. That is absolutely perfect. I'm uh, happy with that. So yeah. Previously, before this final editing. It was 1201.8 I think and I rounded up to 1202 and now look it's 1202 exactly I'm really pleased with that as far as I'm concerned this is the finished article I will go over it one more time just to check and then I'll show you how about I go about submitting it so on the original video it may look like a lot of hard work and almost a bit of unnecessary editing but I guess one of the major lessons I took away from being a postman was they drummed into us just spend a little bit of extra time on the preparation indoors it save you enormous amounts of hassle out on the road so that was the final route preparation I'm now ready to enter the DIY so the following video to follow shortly will be all about the entry submission